Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with the Rising of the Shield Hero season 2 episode number 4 reaction. Alright, the previous episode we were able to take down the spirit tortoise. Um, we uh, went according to the plan that we had that is lure the turtle somewhere else and kind of trip him then go and attack and it went pretty well. I have to say uh, we saw a little bit of Ost Horai's power as well. She can use gravity, yeah. And uh, uh, obviously since she was attacking the spirit daughters, who's familiar actually she was, I'm guessing that's why she was kind of uh, in a little bit of pain. But at the same time, she get, like, you know, did her best to help us out. Uh, Rastalia Philo also did like, you know, everything. Uh, um, Rishia helped boost our, like, you know, uh, buff us while the lady um i don't remember his name her name the granny <laughs> she she also helped us a lot to defeat all the other familiars all the other minions and everything uh raftalia philo uh, kind of damaged it and the judgment the spell the spell that we saw in season one that was used by the pope uh, judgment was used and uh, it kind of did a little bit of a wound on the spirit tortoise snakes where uh, Naofumi used his shield to uh, air shield to kind of gorge it down and then they like, you know, deal the final blow, Raftalia and Philo, they did it. And it's defeated and we thought that, okay, so Ost will be gone now because she is uh, like you know, one of the familiars. Uh, she's not gone, which means there's probably something left uh, of the spirit tortoise. Something is happening, we don't know. And obviously, we still don't know about the person who is still controlling it. So I'm sure there's something else uh, that we'll have to deal with now, even though the Spirit Tortoise has been defeated. So let's see what happens here. This is episode number four of The Rising of the Shield Hero, season two. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Improve. Okay. Oh, she, so she was a noble. Even though it was. Okay. One day. Yeah. The, oh god, this one. Oh. God. We we saw this in the trailer, didn't we? A little bit. Oh my god. Pay back the debts illegally. And this was the uh, noble that um it's key defeat. Yeah. All right. So yeah, this is what happened. Evil deeds. Like generally, I don't know if these people, like you know, the the three heroes. Will get better but i i don't know they are not okay i'll talk about it later hmm. i'm sorry risha but i also don't care if it's something happens to iski i don't know and I'll be like, ah, well. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So yeah, as I was saying, like, you know, like, I don't know if these heroes, the other three, like, I'm pretty okay with uh, Ren. Motoyasu, ah, alright, I guess. He's kind of stupid, but that's just it. But I cannot stand Itsuki at all. I don't like him. Like, he, he, he's very, uh, 
like his personality rubs me in so many wrong ways so like you know like i, I like no disrespect for Rishia, but i feel like you know i wouldn't really care if something happened to itsuki unless and until we get some insane character development of these heroes which it's kind of difficult because the bad reputation that these heroes have in my head like as i said ren is redeemable i guess motorasi as well but i don't know about itsuki like if i, I uh, but we'll see Yeah. Revive. Yeah, maybe this is like I don't know this. Hmm. Weak point. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Oh, with Victoria? Oh no, uh, sorry. Um. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I, it's, it's the other meeting. Okay. <laughs> wow. Now for me. <laughs> oh really? Oh yeah, yeah, true. Hmm. But still. Oh boy, here we go. Wait, we we have like <laughs> okay. Damn, they're like battered down. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh damn, Fido. Look at her! Look at her go! <laughs> oh. Wow, this, uh, yeah, like, from... As we're closer to it now, we can see how huge he, it is. Like, look at this. There's like an ecosystem growing on his back. Oh. Oh, really? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, why they are... Yeah. Yeah, but she did warn them. Ah, uh, yeah. Damn, I feel like if somehow the tortoise is able to go back to its original state, Ost will probably be very conflicted what to do. Like, these people respect her so much, and yeah, it'll be a problem later on. Oh boy. 
What the? Oh! Oh! Rishia! That's a good... I don't know if that's... <laughs> she does like... Why? What's the problem? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's why. Yeah, okay, okay. Like, obviously, we cannot climb this thing in one day. Like, it's impossible. <laughs> I wonder what happened to the parents after that, like... Okay, they, she left. Okay, okay, okay. They're, they're all fine, that means. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> yeah like here's the thing she has improvement self-improve as well just like itsuki needs improvement i'm not talking about strength but self-improvement yeah but unless and until the bow hero himself changes i'm pretty sure it'll be a little bit of a problem because his personality is pretty twisted. <laughs> I wonder if she's... Oh my god, I knew it. I want... Oh, she's remembering. Okay, never mind. Oh, oh, there you go. As, as, as Rishia said, like, you know, just like, um, Ost's, uh, mind, like, it's like fog. Um, what? Okay. Oh no. Wait, is this? Oh my god. Alright, oh, they, they brought the queen and everyone, okay. So these are the people that were living. Oh. Oh, I was like, yeah, what's happening? Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, true. Hmm. the whole like Yeah, okay. Ah. <sighs> Tempo.
my god that's a huge stem and this man ah Oh, okay. Oh, no, no. Oh, my God. Okay. I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> mm, true. Yeah, that'll just make her, what can I say, like, heart, yeah, her heart, just harden her heart. <laughs> okay, what is this? <laughs> Hello. Garden beast. Yeah, she. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like her passion is probably, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but she will not be. Uh, okay. Wow. Wow, so she has talent. Doesn't know the application of that talent, but she has it. What the who? Who wrote here? Probably in Japanese. They came here. Wait, I didn't. I wasn't even able to read it properly. Wait, is, are these like the previous heroes? Oh my god! That's <laughs> the heroes alphabet. There you go. Not these heroes, but the previous ones. Heal seventh chapter. Seventh. Oh! Defeat this monster, you must. Who? Kate? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, she's remembering. Okay. Oh, great. What now? Oh my god, it's collapsing. <laughs> hope we had a smartphone you know it's just, just snap a picture of it <laughs> can can someone memorize i i don't think it's possible yeah okay hmm Okay, she remembered. Heart. Inside the body, through the mouth or something? Entrance into the body. 
Okay. What? What's happening? Oh, she wants to go with them, I think. Yeah, yeah, she wants to go with them. That's why she's okay. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Okay. Large intestine. Oh damn. Okay. Yeah, it's it's from <laughs> the <laughs> What what's happening to her? What Okay. Why is she crying? Oh, because oh yeah, okay, fuck. <laughs> That's why. All right. Okay, never mind. Mm. Oh my god. What happened? <laughs> Just got jump scared. <laughs> oh my god, what? Is it that guy? The guy we are keep we keep seeing. What the who who are you? What the hell? There's like people here? Oh, okay. Oh no. Yeah, is that so? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad excuse. What the... What what's happening? Who are these people? Oh, are these like are these mi familiar? Oh, but the way he talked and glasses here is that glass? No, who is that? is that glass? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it took me a while to, I was like, wait, who are these? For a moment I thought that they were like the heroes or something, the three of them putting some disguise or something. And I'm like, nah, they're, <laughs> they're not that talented. <laughs> the three heroes. <laughs> uh, oh my god. And yeah, it makes so much sense. Lark, the way he talks. The bows, he called him, you know? That's why. And the scythe, oh my god, she, he had a little, it was not a scythe, but kind of like an axe thing. A small little thing. There you go, that was another giveaway. So they, I wonder what they're doing here. 
like they came to check out the script daughters so okay like this whole thing still confuses me this whole thing about the waves i'm pretty sure they are going to explain it in more detail as it goes on but i still get confused about this whole wave thing like what the hell is happening and yeah i'm sure i'll get it it'll get cleared up eventually All right, I think that's the end. All right, so this episode, uh, here we begin with uh, Risha's little backstory. Uh, she talks about how she was born in a family of impoverished no nobles, and uh, even though you know, like they didn't, like you know, they, the, her, she and her parents, they had, uh, like you know, what can I say? Like they, they had good neighbors, good people, and they, they lived a, a, a nice, like you know, calm life but uh they apparently had a few uh debts illegal or you know like not illegal but you know uh n like debts which are probably yeah like you know un unjustified debts and something like that it probably had a lot of interest uh illeg there you go, illegally levied on them uh so that's why some noble came in that noble i'm guessing and took her and put her in a prison where itsuki came and helped her out which was something that um like i'm i'm pretty sure everyone realized up until now uh because from the, from the like you know trailer and all that uh the noble that itsuki said that i defeated and what happened we saw in season one what happened uh there was plenty of people who were just uh left without any person to lead them or something and they became you know like they 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 went like you know they, they probably something happened and they lost everything like you know just um had no food and all and had to go away and we, we, they met now for me on the on the way and that's when you know now for me fed them and got to know all that stuff we saw that in season one and that's probably and even now for me said that like what you did was basically like you know defeat the noble and just left the other people the common people to their de deaths and this is not a video game that you just complete your mission go away and you, you won't have to think anything about the uh results of that like you know like like uh, like you know just like how you, if you kill a dragon it's going to rot just like in real life uh like you know here as well uh if you defeat like you know if you defeated the tyrant you have a responsibility to do something to the people who were under him and like you know you you just defeated him and left and thought that oh everything will be okay but no this is this is not a video game this is something like like this is more this is real life and it, it won't work like that this is not like oh your mission is complete you know you gain experience not like that so yeah like that was the thing so here's the thing you know uh Rishia was uh, someone who was uh imprisoned by this guy and he she was someone who was from some other domain you know but the people you know like who actually suffered after that after the noble was defeated was the people from that domain what after what actually happened is Rishia got uh saved and I'm, I'm guessing the only the people who were from some other place or something or who were probably imprisoned or something only those people were saved at that moment because they were able to go back to their own place but the original inhabitants of that place they were the one who suffered so for Rishia here Itsuki is the savior of her because she was saved by him genuinely because she's not part of that place she, she's she's not a citizen of the, of that noble's place if like you know uh, so that's why she was able to run away back to the parents and yeah she was saved unlike all the other people who were living who were citizens of that uh, noble and like you know, working under him and everything they they just lost everything at that moment and they just became vagrants so for Rishia Itsuki is his savior unlike what actually happened in that whole situation so <coughs> 
obviously Risha like you know says like oh I want to repay him back for this and all that's why you know like her this type of uh, what do you call it um so she has so much respect for Itsuki now here's the thing I, I said this before and I've I'm, I'm, I'm like you know I'm, I'm repeating this again um like it's all well and good Risha thinks so highly about it, uh, Itsuki but unfortunately I don't think unless and until like you know something really major happens and if we actually see him really changing I don't think I'm I'll be able to like Itsuki at all because he, he he's a prick Itsuki is a prick I hate him and uh, I really hope that something in the future happens where I am able to say that okay you know what maybe he's not as bad just like you know and I, I also hope that the same thing also happens to the other heroes as well because even though i don't dislike the other two as much as itsuki i still don't like them <laughs> it's just the level is a little bit low so i really have no idea like because I, I have no idea about the light novel how it went this and that so and and, and don't spoil me I'm, I'm pretty sure i'll i'll be able to uh know as like you know the anime goes on but i really hope a time comes i'm pretty sure it will come where these three actually redeem themselves and i'm able to say like you know what there was a day when i hated them but now they're pretty cool i hope that day comes um i'm pretty sure it will because you know like this like they're like one of the main characters main supporting characters so I'm, yeah like you know i'm sure sure they'll come around they're not bad people uh, they're just they're just stupid you know like Motoyasu is the epitome of stupidity uh ren is an epitome of what do you call it like edginess you could say like he's like oh like i defeated a dragon haha and you know like doesn't care while um this guy was uh, itsuki itsuki is the i guess epitome of pride selfishness or something like that so yeah like they're, they're, they're just yeah they're, they're just a little bit stupid and that's just it and i really hope that changes and we are able to appreciate them more but yeah so for now they are like you know like um risha is like yeah that's why i want to repay him and uh like you know uh ost is uh, like you know, listening to her and ost talks about how uh philo and uh okay just a sec yeah and uh also talks about how philo and uh no we then go go back we go back a little bit and kind of get a little small little recollection flashback whatever you call it where we see nafumi and his uh crew going to the back of the spirit uh, like you know kind of thinking about going and climbing the back of the spirit tortoise and uh, <clears throat> they are on like you know, on the cart everyone's just going uh here what happens uh oh, okay uh ost is really surprised as to why the people are actually you know like kind of respectful with her because she's supposed to be that person who is like you know like a familiar of the uh spirit daughters and she's supposed to be you can say the enemy of these people but why are they like you know so respectful to her now <clears throat> definitely because as like you know uh i feel like as as they explain uh that it's probably because that she you know what they saw what these people saw were her helping them out you know they warned them you know she warned them and you know like helped save a lot of lives even though she is part of the spirit tortoise she actually helped them out fought together with them and you know I, th I think that's the biggest reason she fought together with them you know like just just in front of the battlefield with them they she they fought they the people the soldiers they saw her as well suffering and helping them out and you know like they saw her pain and that's why they were able to accept her so easily because if she if she just stood like you know just probably was in some safe place just sitting down or something and uh and i doubt this trust would have been blossomed but these people trust her because she was there in the front like you know uh in the front of the battlefield with them uh sharing like you know each other's pains and you know like she also had like an uh like, a, like an equal scope of 
being wounded or something happening to them so they you could say they they like you know trusted each other with their life and that that whole thing kind of made them more uh trustful of Ost, even though she is a part of the spirit tortoise so that's why like Ost was very confused but you know they kind of explained her that whole thing and they're like oh they're grateful to you and as like you know all that stuff now here as i said while reacting like i feel like i don't know what's going to happen to this whole like well, how this will conclude but if they are able to defeat the person who is like you know doing all of this and the spirit daughter goes back to its original way it is um Ost will have a big decision to make what should she do the people who respects her so much will she be able to take their souls i don't think so so that'll be like a dilemma that she'll have to face if if the spirit tortoise goes back to its original way and everything becomes normal that will be like, like a, a huge decision for her to make here and i don't know how what's going to happen but it'll be interesting to see if something like that happens what she will choose because i don't think she'll be able to do this the thing that she is supposed to do again because these people trust her and she sees that and uh, yeah anyways um the next uh, okay so now we are like kind of kind of going on, on uh, we've reached the back we're kind of climbing this like mountainous terrain <laughs> this fog and it's an interesting thing that uh Rishia says it's like the fog is just like oh uh you know head where everything's kind of foggy and she cannot remember stuff and i i thought like okay maybe it's something maybe it's risha is on on the like you know uh like you know kind of correct in this deduction maybe if the fog goes away her like you know memory will also come back or something it looks like it is happening something like that is happening all right they take a little break and often is like all right let's take a little break everyone's like we're going to sleep on on top of a monster but uh, Nafi is like, yeah, it's okay. And uh, yeah, they are kind of like, you know, making a camp. And uh, here, uh, Ost talks to Rishia and Ost talks about how Nafumi, uh, how uh, Raftalia and Philo looks like sisters. And Rishia talks about how she's like an only child. And, uh, you know, like she, she did have all the parents love to herself. She could, you know, monopolize it. But still, she want like, you know, kind of, what can I say? You know, kind of thinks it would be good to have a sibling or something. I feel like every, like you know, all the people who are who doesn't have any sibling has this similar thought. Like I, I've seen, <laughs> I've seen people who have siblings say like, oh, they're you know they're annoying. Like you know, it's better if you're a single child and all. I've seen a lot of people say that. You know, <laughs> but you know like as a single child myself you know i also think like ah it'll be good to have an elder sibling or maybe an, a younger sibling like you know and uh, <laughs> i like you know I, I feel like like it'll be nice to have like an elder sibling we could you know, kind of rely on them and all so i feel like this is like a common type of thought process to every child who doesn't have any sibling <laughs> while if you ask someone who has a sibling they'll be like oh no they're annoying like you know you're, it's so good that you're, you're like you know, you're you're a single child like <laughs> like you know no problems like you know no sharing with your siblings they kind of bring these for topics up but while we people who have no siblings we are like ah oh, it'd be so good to have a sibling <laughs> but yeah and here we can see like you know like i, I can see what they're trying to do here like you know it, it, they, they're trying to show how rishia and ost are kind of like you know like a uh, siblings you could say and uh Ost is like the elder sister to Risha or something like that all right so here something happens to Ost and she kind of remembers something and uh, oh boy we see the place where everything's just you know the the little you know houses and all all the people living there who who were weren't able to be rescued in time they you know, passed away and uh, now Rishia, like you know, it's obviously like not accustomed to all of this, so she's freaking out. Uh, at first, I was like, "Why is Raftalia freaking out?" And then I, the, when you know, they said the whole thing about the basement, I was like, "Oh yeah, that's true." You know, like she, she also has a little trauma like that as well. And uh, okay, so Os is praying. Rishia also goes and joins her, uh, and. 
Yeah, and they said like I, I'm sure everyone knew this would happen, but where is it? Okay, uh, if the daughter is not revived of its own will, it only makes it worse for those who died. Yeah, like they they knew what this was going to happen, but still they lived here. So as the queen says, like if the revival is not something that was supposed to happen it it's it's even worse for the people and uh, who who actually stayed here because they died for nothing and uh, you know like the person who did all of this the whole controlling of the spirit tortoise we need to bring that person to justice and stop the spirit tortoise so we go to a little temple or shrine as they said uh, of the spirit tortoise and uh, they kind of go in and okay this part i will have to read a little bit because if, like you know they kind of go in and uh, they, they think that like there's like a seal the seal here was actually broken and uh, there's like some inscriptions the, the, the kind of things written there like you know what's going to happen uh if the spirit tortoise awakens and all now uh, now from me surprised at that risha can read it while you know like <laughs> they kind of say like a little thing about how she is more accustomed uh, like not accustomed but more talented in reading these kind of the like, you know, kind of deciphering deciphering these texts unlike you know like her fighting skills but uh the granny does say that even though that is the thing even though she's weak at fighting her key control is insane and you know like if she's able to do it properly she'll be able to master the the technique i forgot the name muso something it was called and uh, you know that's why she is not giving up and she she wants her to like you know learn that as well and uh, now it's like yeah i pray you're right all right now here <clears throat> we get to see the things that are written in japanese now from is like you know surprised and at first i was like wait a minute did the three heroes come here and then i realized that nah it's probably not them the heroes that came before them and i do wonder if some way down the line this anime are going to let us know who were the people who came before now for me you know the other heroes who came before maybe we'll get to know more about them but i don't know uh oh yeah okay uh so what's written here i need to read this part now Okay, um, first of all, it's written, the first one is written, if a dash uh, summoned from Japan is reading these words, oh, if a, uh, it's probably a person reading these words, and there's like some scattered word, letters, R-M-E-F-E-R-P-S. What the hell? Oh my god, this, the subtitles are... If a dash... If, if it's, uh, someone from Japan is reading these words... Um, R dash M E Trans... No. M E F E R T S I have no idea what this means. Uh, I was trying to kind of decipher it, but I don't think I can. Anyways, uh, then the next one is no face TTR, no matter it's probably. Yeah, no matter how powerful a seal you place on this monster, the space seventh chapter. Okay, I've learned that its goal is to blank the world's okay all right so interesting so wait uh there's a few other okay just a second is there something else no that's it i think that's it yeah that's it nothing else so they talk about what like seven uh okay <clears throat> okay it must have been uh, left by the four cardinal heroes uh, it's faded and it's hard to read in spots but i can make out the words seal seventh and shatter okay interesting 
seven. So, and he now from kind of relates that with the seven that's written beside the wave clock. And uh, that's it. Like nothing else we get to know from here. While uh, Ost kind of, we can guess a little bit of a memory back. But everything's collapsing. And they like, you know, get out of that place. Like, as I said, like, it would be great if we had a smartphone or something. <laughs> but unfortunately, yeah. So they, they come out. And uh, <clears throat> now Ost says, like, I remember what to do. Uh, like, you know, how to defeat this thing. Okay, uh, Ost says that go inside his body and destroy its heart. So the question is, how do we go inside? So Ost says that there is an entrance to its heart and we are going to go to there. Now, I did wonder at that moment, like, <laughs> what is this entrance? Is it the mouth? But later on, we get to know it's basically the, like, you know, like from where you excrete, you know? You, know, you get in through <laughs> the hole <laughs> and it's, it's a large intestine and then that's how we read i wonder how we're going to go to the heart like you know from the large intestine to the stomach then and through the food pipe the esophagus how are we going to go going to go to the heart the heart is a completely different thing unless and until we break through how are we going to go to the heart because we got in through the digestive tract you know like this large intestine then again you know, it's going to go to the small intestine the stomach then it's going to go up to the mouth you're going to come out through the mouth how are we are you going to go to the heart so unless and until we break out you know like I, I okay never mind like i'm i'm looking at this in a scientific way i don't even know how tortoises <laughs> have the digestive tract lined up so <laughs> maybe it is something different i don't know but that it'll be interesting to see how they do that now. probably in the couple of next episodes we'll see but yeah now they were all like, you know talking about this risha is like i need to speak up and uh, she like you know she knew that they were going to leave her behind just like now is telling the other ones to fall back so Risha is like, no, I need to talk and say that I want to go. And when Nafum is like, oh, Risha, you stay here. Risha is like, no, I'm going to go with you. Not because of uh, Itsuki, but because I'm part of your party. And uh, yeah, I think this is the correct uh, mentality here. Like, you know, like it's, it's nice that she is uh, you know, uh, concerned about Itsuki, but she also needs to kind of focus on what she wants to do. Her goal is to be stronger. That's why even she even got that slave crest. So like you know, like that's why you know, like her goal is something else. She should like look at that. And I, I'm glad that she said like, oh, it's not for Itsuki, but because I'm part of your party as well. I I'll do my part. And uh, all right, they get in, and here Nafim kind of jokes about the small intestine, uh, like you know, the the large intestine, what the thing poops and all. <laughs> it was like it's not smelly at all. And again, Risha and Naofumi, uh, sorry, Risha and uh, Ost kind of talk about it. And uh, yeah, and she's like, oh, I'm not really concerned about them. I'm just doing this because I'm, you know, like I'm part of the party and all that stuff, she says. And she gets jump scared suddenly. <laughs> oh no. Then the, oh my God, like, this thing, like, you know, then we see some random adventures coming out and honestly speaking, I really was not expecting it to be Lark, uh, Therese and Glass. I was like the three of them. I'm like, all right, who the hell are these? Like random adventures suddenly. And I'm, I'm like, wait a minute, why did they even come here? And then when we got like a, like, you know, close, like kind of zoomed out and we saw these three. I saw the guy holding like a little scythe kind of thing. That's not a scythe, but a mini scythe. I'm like, wait a minute, that's, that's a little scythe. And I'm like, okay, like, that's interesting. And for a moment, I even thought that are these like the three heroes? You know, the three heroes. All like, and then <laughs> now for me, Raftalia kind of, Raftalia kind of uses that spell. And it's, we see them and I'm like, damn, I was not expecting that at all. Like suddenly seeing them, Lark, Therese and the Glass. And uh, the reason why I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone was able to recognize Glass was her 
little fan, the thing, you know, that she was holding. And um, now someone's like, wait, you're glass, aren't you? And, you know, her face also kind of, is, it, it is kind of similar to how we saw glass. So, yeah. Now, here's the question. What are they going to do the next episode? Will they start fighting? Or will they be like, you know what? We are here for something else. I'm pretty sure they are here for some other reason. Not to fight the hero. Uh, not to fight the shield hero or the other heroes. They're pretty, I'm pretty sure they're here for some other reason. So what will they do? Will they be like, all right, so yeah, we're here for some other job. So maybe we should not fight here. We should postpone this and see you later. Or will they join them? They'll be like, all right, we're here for something. And you know, we knew they have, you know what? I, my bet is they're probably going to join them. You know, like these three, because I, I, I'm getting that feeling here because, um, yeah, like, you know, like they came here for some kind of a reason. Now from is also going inside the Tartarus for, for defeating it. I'm pretty sure their, their, what do you call it? Their goals will align or something and they'll probably have a temporary alliance or something. We'll see about that next episode. But yeah, so that's it. Um, that was a huge surprise in the end. And <laughs> yeah, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. This was my reaction to The Rising of the Shield Hero Season 2, Episode number 4. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and yeah i'll check them out so that's it thanks for watching i will see you guys next week with another episode of the rising of the shield hero season 2 until then goodbye and have a nice day